G'day, happy homebrew Wednesday. Uh, this week, what I'm going to do is try and culture some yeast or harvest some yeast from six. I got half a dozen uh, Thomas Cooper selection celebration ales. Uh, Coopers assure me it's a different yeast they use than they put in the kits, and I'm pretty sure it is too. Um, and even they say you'll get a better end product if you can manage to culture or harvest some yeast from uh, their bottles. They are bottle conditioned, of course, so the yeast is still alive. Uh, you start with a, a six pack at least, or maybe three of the, the long necks, 750 mils. Um, you're supposed to leave them in the fridge for a couple of days to a week to make sure the yeast is settled uh, to the bottom of the bottle. Uh, and then what I did was uh, I drank these in one sitting. Um, I'd just pour the beer off and leave, pour it carefully, and leave about a centimetre in the bottom. Uh, try not to disturb the yeast off the bottom, of course. Uh, the only equipment I really need is uh, a star sand, a similar no rinse sanitizer makes it easy. A bottle like this is all I'm going to use. Uh, to brew the culture up in to get the yeast started, like a yeast starter, a funnel, and the half a dozen beers as I stated before. Now the filming is going to be a little bit rough on this. I can't find my tripod, it's in the car which isn't here at the moment. So it's going to be handheld. So it will be a little bit rough, but I'm sure you'll get you to see what I do. I'm going to make about 600 mils of wort, put it in this bottle, Cool it down to the yeast temperature, normal yeast temperature, you know, around 20 degrees, mid 20s. Use this funnel and pour the dregs of the six bottles in there. Then I'll stick that in my fermenter fridge, give it a shake every day. Uh, I'll show you what I do anyway. Cheers. There's my 600 mils of water boiling. Got my 60 grams of light dry malt there. I'll just turn that heat off for a second. Mix the mold in. You'll get lumps doing it like this, but I should have been stirring. That malt stirred in now. I'm just going to turn the heat back on just to uh, give it a bit of a sanitize. Just for a second, just to get it back to the boil. Okay, that's enough. Now I just put a lid on it and cool that down the best way you can. I'm just doing my usual way. Stick it in the sink, put some cold water around it. That'll cool down in no time. I have a bottle there. It's been filled up with star sand. I don't know if there's any in there, but there is full of star sand. Just going to empty that out and sterilize my funnel at the same time. Sanitize the lid as well. Just let that uh, funnel sanitize. It's been sanitizing for a minute. Take the lid off the bottle. Put the funnel in. Pour that into the bottle carefully.
That's still a touch warm for the yeast yet. I'll just let that cool down a little bit further before I add the yeast. Okay, I've cooled that down a bit uh, to about room temperature. I had it in the fridge for a little while. I've still got my sanitized funnel there ready to go. And I have a six pack of uh, Cooper Celebration Ale, which each have, I've left about a centimeter of beer in each at the bottom. I'm gonna stir that up as much as I can, make sure I get all the yeast off the bottom of the bottle and uh, pour them one by one through the funnel into my uh, 600 ml of water with my 60 grams of light dry malt extract. Let's take the lid off. We can go back into the star soon. Funnel. And just pour it in. I'm going to do that with all six bottles. I won't film it, it's easy to do with two hands. Let's uh, put all the six bottles into there, take the funnel out, stick the lid on, give it another good shake, get some oxygen in the water, and mix it up. Now I'm going to replace that lid with an elastic band and some glad wrap or cling wrap so just a bit of cling wrap and elastic band that'll be fine now you want to put that somewhere in the dark nice warm place like where you'd be brewing your beer and you want to give it a good mix every morning and night within a couple of days you should see a head forming and some fermentation going on This is uh, day three. This is some. Uh, this is my brew fridge. It's a bit hard to see. It's a bit dark in here. There's a bit of action going. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up. A bit of pressure under the cling wrap, glad wrap, and it's starting to ferment. So. Every day, twice a day, you want to stir up the yeast in the bottom. Just give it a stir. And put it back in. Things are starting to happen there. Well, after five days, that's what I've ended up with. You can see the gas. Puffed out this on top. The gas can escape. It's not going to pop. I'm going to use it today in a brew. I'll just mix it up again. You can see it's got a bit of fizz in it. There's plenty of yeast in there. And I'm going to pitch that into my brew. There it is. I've mixed it up a bit. I've still left a little bit of the tube on the bottom. There'll be enough yeast in that bottle though to do the job. Give it a stir. And uh, there we go. Done. We'll see how that goes. Should be fine.
I hope you got enough information out of that. Uh, I spread the filming over four or five days uh, to show how it's done all the way through. My brew is bubbling away now, so it's been successful. Uh, give it a go. It's only worth doing really if you know uh, that your favourite beer uses a certain yeast. Uh, in my opinion, if you can buy the yeast, do it. Uh, but this is a bit of a learning curve, something else to learn, a bit of fun. Uh, and I wanted to try the Cooper's yeast. Uh, I went to do this a couple of months ago uh, with Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. But then I did a bit of research and found out that they use uh, USO5, I think it was. So there's, there wasn't any point of me wasting my time doing this. I just went and bought a packet of yeast. If you like this video, click like. Thanks very much. See you later. Cheers.